Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Better tutorial, I'm going to be doing the third part in my mini-series of how to create your own NPC. So today we're going to be focusing on how to create a shop, and also how to link dialogues, and um, as we get into this, you'll understand what that means. And so, let's get started. So, um, to start here, I've got a lot of stuff open in my Notepad++, and I'm actually going to run you through, I'll delete all this, exit out and we'll open them all up one by one and I'll get you up to speed with what's been happening alright so to start off we're gonna to wanna to go to our character that we've already made uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about please watch the first two videos um, those will be really important for helping you get to this point uh, we're gonna be using the same character and everything and I really have not changed much alright so Secondly, let's go to the dialogues, and we've got actually two dialogues now, and I'll be showing you what the second one does here in a second. But before we access that new NPC shop dialog, we're actually going to go to the vendor. And that's what we're going to be mainly focusing on today, how to create a vendor and how to actually set it up. And actually, this last dialogue does actually have to do with it. So I'll, don't worry about this. I'm going through this quickly, but I will go through this one by one. Alright, so let's start off back on to our normal NPC. Um, this is our Chester NPC. Uh, we created this in the very first video. Now I do want to do an update um, just on the equipped thing. Uh, if you guys had watched the first two videos, you know I was having trouble having the equipped uh, happening. Um, uh, what I figured out, somebody commented this in the description, that I had only one P here, which actually looks alright, but uh, you know you need to have two so you know spelling mistake on my part and as you guys will see once we test this out this actually does work so good to know um, you know that command actually works and you can do it with secondary primary or tertiary those all work the important thing to note here is that we have a dialogue linked to our character and the dialogue ID is 3000 now all this stuff this is kind of um, not really important so we're just gonna get rid of that but uh, this part is important. We actually have our dialogue here, and it's uh, ID 3000, and this is really important because this is the dialogue that it's going to be using. So we've got our dialogue here, and actually, as you guys may notice, there's this new line up here. Uh, it's GUID, and it's got like a big string of text here. Um, it's going to be on all of your assets from now on. Uh, this is actually, you guys really don't need to worry about this, and don't actually create this. Actually, if you create you can actually get rid of it in fact and the game will just add a new one um, it's essentially a way to identify unique objects and assets so really you don't need to worry about it uh, th just know that when you run it the game will add one to your asset file it's not going to show up in the English file but it will show up in the asset file now going back to our dialogue um, I have changed a few things here we've only got one message still but I lowered the pages to one just because uh, it's really annoying to go through all the pages and the page is just gonna say I'm very happy to be aboard with a break in there um, also we only have two responses now instead of three and um, I've got some added stuff here right now I'm gonna comment it out and I'm just gonna go back into the world and show you pretty much what is happening so really our one res two responses are glad to hear it and take me to the shop and the shop is colored with legendary color and I added a please and an exclamation mark on the end so I'm gonna go get back into the editor um, show you the one change with the secondary and then I will uh, get back to this and actually show you how to implement a shop alright guys so here we are in the test world and um, the, this is our Chester here the other two are uh, already pre-made uh, NPCs this is P. Risco and this is Ensign Franklin. Um, we're going to be using P. Risco here for uh, an example here in a bit. But this is Chester. So currently what we have here is we've got our one line of text with our break. And we only have our two responses. Now we've got a glad to hear it. This one currently does nothing. Also we have our take me to the shop please. And this is what we will be linking to our shop. This currently does nothing as well because I commented out the area that actually made it do stuff. So um, that's pretty much what we have, and as you guys can see, the equipped secondary is currently working. So, you know, just update on that. It does work. Uh, you just got to make sure you spell equipped with two Ps. So that was my fault. Um, let us pop back into the text and let us make our shop. All right, guys, so here we are back in the uh, text editor, and um, I'm going to uncomment these after we create the shop initially. So let's go over here. Um, Let's go to the shop section or the vendor section. That's actually what they're called. 
of the bundles file. So let's go to vendors and as you guys can see I have created already a new folder for the NPC shop. So let's go inside there and let's check it out. And actually we have them right here and there. These two tabs right here are everything that contain our shop. Now as you guys can see these also have a GUID. Uh, you're not really going to be able to get rid of that. And the important things for the shop are type, vendor, and the ID. Those are super important. Uh, the type vendor pretty much just sets up that this asset is a shop. Um, and you need to have a unique ID just like everything else. But okay, so you realize the ID for this is 3000. Now if we look over here at our dialog, we're also using a dialog of 3000. It is okay for these things to overlap. It is not okay to have two shops that are 3000. You can have two dialogs that are 3000 and 3001 and you can have two vendors that are 3000 and 3001. As long as they don't mix uh, within the same type, you're fine. So it's okay that we're using 3000 here and uh, pretty much it, it works pretty simply. Now uh, I pretty much copy pasted this shop out of a pre-made shop from um, I think it was uh, Chef Fresh Food Market. So I'm pretty much going to be going over what they have done here and it's broken up into two sections buying and selling and pretty much how you're going to want to set up the buying section is you just do buying space the number of things you want to be able to buy same for the selling you've got selling space the number of things you want to sell so in this case you know we're buying there's 15 options to buy and there's nine options to sell so pretty much how you're going to set up each of those items is you're going to do buying underscore starting at zero underscore ID and then the ID of the actual item and what's nice about this shop is that Nelson included comments telling what each of these are so 81 is the ID for MRE um, 1351 is the ID for raw bass, raw beef, canned bacon, so on and so forth. So pretty much it's really simple. You just buying underscore the number of the buy underscore the ID. The number of the buy has to be unique. So as you notice it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You don't want to have any duplicates. That's going to cause issues. So we're going to start with buying underscore ID space the number of the ID that you can find on unturned bunker. So if you go into unturned bunker pretty much any of the items here you can actually buy or sell inside of a shop. So you just take like this ID right here for like a black uh, toque and you can have that being bought inside your shop. Alright so there's another section to this it's pretty much how to set up the cost. It's almost the same you just have cost instead of ID. So you do buying underscore number underscore cost space the cost and this cost is going to be in terms of experience points because these types of shops use XP. So uh, this is really great because you know we can now buy and sell with any type of value we want and any type of item we want any type of item that is obtainable really. So let's move down to selling. Uh, it's exactly the same except you switch out buying for selling. So you're going to do selling underscore the number underscore the ID space the ID of the item you want to sell. And in this case it's maple syrup. Then it's the same for the cost. You just do selling underscore number underscore cost space the cost and experience points. So this is really simple and this is really all you need. Now if you guys do look at some of these other types, uh, let's say uniform store and look at theirs, they have a lot of other stuff in here like including conditions and stuff like that. Um, conditions have to do with quests. We're not going to get into that quite yet and truthfully conditions are very very complicated. So really don't worry about conditions. All we need to worry about right now is buying and selling and setting up the ID and the cost. And that'll be completely fine. Now I will tell you guys uh, before we actually go in and test this that I have not gotten my own custom shop to work with this NPC. I have no idea why this is a direct copy um, of the other uh, Chef Fresh food market as you guys can see if I switch between these two the only thing that's different is the GUID and the ID of it itself so this one is ID of 63 and this one's an ID of 3000 so that's the only thing different but I haven't been able to get it to work so I'm not sure what's up with that but I, I can uh, show you how to link those successfully so hopefully if you guys are able to set this up correctly with this, the right syntax yours will be able to work if you guys do see an issue with mine please put that in the comments um, I can do a follow-up video and you know solidify what I was doing wrong Anyway, let's move on to the English.dat. As you guys know, uh, with all of these things, there is an asset and an English. So the English.dat is right here. And all you have in here is the name of your shop 
and you got the description of your shop and as you guys can see uh, these will both show up when you're inside of the shop I think the name shows up at the top and the description shows up at the bottom or something like that and pretty much together those will just be extra description so you know that's it's pretty easy to do these just do name space whatever you want it to be description space whatever you want it to be and obviously make them relating to what you're selling in the shop or who's selling them so for example Chester's gonna be hosting the shop so I've got it Chester's fresh food market and uh, part fresh part stale army rations that has to do with what we're actually selling which is food so that's that part sort of makes sense alright so let's uh, let's actually link this into the dialogue because at this point um, the dialogue part is commented out so let's link this in here and as you guys can see um, it's really simple you just do response number one vendor 3000 now the vendor number here is going to match the ID number of your vendor type over here so that's really important uh, make sure those match now also uh, this number one here um, the, the way we get this is we actually have to go to the English dot dad now pretty much we're saying the the second response because it starts at zero remember whenever we are counting up it starts at zero one two three so this is the second response so whenever they click on the second response we're gonna do vendor 3000 and we're gonna send them to that shop the second response is take me to the shop now you can make the second response whatever you want but I would suggest um, that you actually tell them that they're going to go to the shop. That way it's not confusing why they got there. Also, something that's important is if you have a vendor link in your dialogue, that option for them that says take me to the shop will have a shop icon in front of it. All right. So there's one other thing that is optional, but you can have in your shop. Um, it's You can actually link another dialogue in here to the same response. So as you guys can see, response number two, this is the second one. Um, and so also linked to this response is dialogue 3001 and this is a new dialogue I created so let's go check out that new dialogue um, it's gonna work exactly the same as our original dialogue and it's it's essentially named new NPC shop so inside of here um, I don't know why there's a shortcut here but let us double click here open this up and open this up these are the last two here so inside our new dialogue it's ID number 3001 we have one message and we don't have any responses you can actually do this you don't need responses for your dialogues so let's go look at our message um, our message pretty much says that was the shop with the color legendary around shop so if we go back to here and look at our asset we pretty much have it sending us to dialogue 3001 this is dialogue 3001 and pretty much as you guys will see what this will do is it'll send us to the shop first and after you go to the shop it'll send you to the dialogue next now actually let's create our own custom dialogue here and let's actually link a dialogue so pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a dialogue to be linked from response number one so response number one is glad to hear it um, and we're gonna create a new dialogue to be linked from that so it's pretty easy to uh, link some of these you just do response underscore zero for the number of which one and that's gonna be uh, zero over here glad to hear it and when you click on this it'll link you to another dialogue so then we're gonna do dialogue make sure spelling you get it right otherwise it won't work and we're gonna do 3002 now we actually have not created this dialogue yet we're about to create it just now so um, yeah we'll, we'll create one from scratch so let's do response zero dialogue 3002 and that pretty much sets us up that once we click glad to hear it the NPC is going to respond with another dialogue so let's create a uh, a new folder in here and we're gonna call it new NPC response alright and pretty much we're gonna do let's just copy what we have in welcome to inside of response now we're gonna have to edit this a lot because we don't want it to be the exact welcome and uh, pretty much here we go so let's start out by getting rid of the GUID whenever you're copy pasting something like that always get rid of the GUID because it needs to be unique and the game will add it yourself don't worry about it just get rid of it also for ID we need to make sure that it's unique so we're gonna make that ID 2000 uh, 3002 and this is important because uh, the response is gonna be 3002 so we need to make sure we have that same ID number alright also for messages we're just gonna have one message one page and we're actually not gonna have any responses here nothing like that 
So this pretty much sets us up to have a nice simple response dialog and we now need to uh, modify this over here. So pretty much all we have is one message, one page. So this is all we need in the English.dat. So we've got message zero, the first one, page zero, very first page. And we're gonna do uh, U2. That's all we're gonna say as a response to, as a response to, glad to hear it. He's just gonna say U2. Okay, so now that we got that set up, um, we can just sort of ignore that. We'll see that here in a second when we test it. So before we go in and test it, we've got pretty much every se everything set up we really need, um, except for one thing. Our shop is not going to work, as I said before. Um, we were, I was having errors with that. So we're actually going to put another shop in here. We're going to use uh, P. Risco's shop here. So we're going to take his shop file. We're going to use ID 17. And we're going to put a link to shop 17 right here. Now, it's kind of sucky that I can't get my own to work, uh, guys. I have no idea. Um, I've tried multiple things. I've tried copy pasting, creating my own from scratch. And for some reason, it just doesn't work. So if you guys see anything as an issue in here, uh, please tell me. Um, I really don't think there is because I copy pasted it from one that already works. But who knows? I could have uh, fat fingered it and misspelled something. So let's go back into here. We now have our link to P. Risco's shop. Um, I've showed you how to create one anyway. We also have our link to a second dialog. And we've got the dialog after we finish with the shop. So let's test this out in game and hopefully all works. All right guys, so here we are in the test world again and we're ready to test our linked dialogue and our shop. Now to start you off, I'm gonna familiarize you with what P. Risco's shop is like. Uh, this is his shop right here. And as you guys can see, he's got the nice shop icon so we know which one to press. This is his shop. And as you can see, it's got you know his title and this is actually a description. The description is right underneath the title. So I was wondering if it was at the bottom or whatever, it is right beneath it. So let's return here. And actually what's interesting about um, linking stuff inside a dialogue is it returns you to the normal dialogue here. So it, it returns you to the original page. And essentially to get out of it, you either do uh, catch you later or escape. Either works. And so let's test our own. All right, so as you can see, as we press F, we only have our one page now, just like before. And we have our two responses. Now, as you guys can see, we have the little shop icon notifying us that this is the actual shop link. If we look in here, this is gonna be response number one take me to the shop please and that is the one with the link as you can see the color worked as well and uh, we should have a linked dialog to glad you hear it okay so let's test the shop first as you guys can see it pulls up P Risco shop um, sadly we couldn't use my own because it wouldn't work but either way we actually know that uh, this sort of syntax for linking a shop actually works so that that part works well now let's test and see if we have a response dialog at the end and I'm sure this will work as well so as you guys can see once we press return we actually have a response dialog that says that was the shop that is the dialog 3001 that I created now let's check our linked dialog here as well um, we should have a response of U2 after glad to hear it and that would be coming from dialog 3002 so once we press glad to hear it, we have our linked dialog U2. And just like before, it returns us to the original page. So anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this Unturned Map Editor tutorial. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to create not only an, a shop itself, but also a linked dialog. And these linked dialogs will become very helpful. Uh, you can link other things as well. Besides the shop and the dialog, you can link a quest. That's pretty much the only other thing you can link, actually. So anyway, guys, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, please also comment in the description if you know what I did wrong with the shop. I have no idea still, and I may never know. I may just have to, you know, create a new shop with a new NPC. But anyway, guys, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you all later.